G'day YouTube and welcome to Step by Step Back to Basics. Today I'm going to be putting together a small series on what I wish I knew when I started this journey with 18650 batteries. It's just a basic guide. There's lots of guides out there on how to build battery packs, e-scooter batteries, power walls, but there's no like basics on where do I source a good cell from and what should be your rules. I have set rules on when I'm buying cells, on when I'm building battery packs or when I'm building batteries on what to do. And if I stick to these basic rules, I end up with a really good product, which is as good as anything you can buy, but a third to a quarter of the price. So that's what this series is going to be about, just the basics. So where do I source my 18650 batteries from? Well, over the last two years, I have bought a lot of different battery packs and I have acquired a lot of cells from different sources over that period. As you can see, I literally at this point have thousands of cells. And one thing to know about those cells is some of them are really, really good and some of them are really, really bad and I wasted my money on. So I don't want to waste my money and I want to get a reliable cell so I can build a reliable item with a battery pack, power, power wall, um, e-scooter, bike battery, whatever you're building. You want to build something which is reliable so you don't waste your money. So what I do and where I go is I purchase all my batteries now from Modem Battery. You could get those from um, used laptop batteries. But the most important thing about any of these places where you're looking from these recycle companies, there's several of them out there, is this one thing. These four words to live by have never been cycled. Which means these battery packs with these cells in them were made by the company. They'll put on a shelf ready to be sold for a replacement battery and they were never sold. Some of these uh, battery packs are two years, five years. I've got some up to 10 years old, but the cells inside are brand new and they work absolutely perfectly. So number one rule for me when I'm buying any 18650 battery packs so I can break them down to pull out the cells is just this, have never been cycled. If you stick by that one rule, when you're buying the battery packs, you will do good with your batteries. Um, they're all different capacities, but if you just do that, you will get new cells. So um, this has been part one in this series, uh, was sourcing uh, a reliable source of batteries. I've hoped you've enjoyed this little bit of information. In part two, we'll talk more in detail about the battery itself. Thanks again for watching Step by Step Back to Basics and have a great day. And always remember, if you buy cheap, you will buy twice and keep it simple whenever possible.